over it. No one's using it. It's been edited. It's been edited over yeah, time. Edited to by the church. No, that other good stuff, huh? Uh, all right, well, I mean. But I believe in the message. I believe in Jesus. I, I'm there for that. Oh, yeah? Okay. Well, it's the thing. I got to ask you a question. Did Christ come for all nations? Did he come for all nations on the planet? Or is he coming for all nations on the planet? I'd say yeah. I'd say yeah. Okay, well, let's find out. Well, we've been taught that. A lot of these churches and things are set up. Okay, so you know what I want? Matthew 1 verse 21. Give me the book of Matthew 15 verse 24. Matthew 15 verse 24. What is what you got? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from for he shall save his people from their sins. From their sins. So let's find out. Now we gotta find out who is his people, right? Okay. Joel 227. Go ahead and read what you got. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sick. Bind to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So the children of Israel are his people. Right? Okay, go ahead and read what you got. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, Ask. verse 27. And he Ask. shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. First right. I'm in the midst of Israel. I'm the Lord your God and none else. Do you believe that? I mean, it's coming out of the Bible. We're going to read some more for you. Do the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 1. 13, 23. Psalm 13, 23. Let's look at Acts chapter 13, verse 23. Of this man's seed hath God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior. He raised unto Israel a Savior. Go ahead. Jesus, the Abishai, when John had first preached before his coming the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. To all the people of Israel. Okay, go ahead and read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 1. Bring it out. Bring it out. At the same time, said the Lord, will I be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. They see that? Children of Israel shall be his people. Do you know who the Israelites are today? Okay. In Israel? <laughs> nah, let's find out. Let's read about the people that's in Israel, okay? Because the Caucasians that's in Israel, they 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 Jewish, correct? They say they're the Jews, right? Let's see what the Bible says. Give me the book of Jeremiah 14, 2. Go ahead and read what you got. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and problem, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. Now we gotta read that one more time because that was kind of heavy. What's your name? Sophia. Sophia. Okay, Sophia. That was kind of heavy, wasn't it? <laughs> How about we read it again and go over it nice and slow? Go ahead and read with Sophia. A relation, chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and problems. So God, Christ, he said to the real Jews, I know your works, your tribulation, and poverty. Man, you know that the real Jews are facing tribulation and they live in the poverty. Go ahead and read. But thou art rich. But the children of Israel, even though they're in poverty, they rich. Go ahead. And I know the blasphemy. And I know the blasphemy. Blasphemy means lies. Sophia, blasphemy means lies. Go ahead. Of them which say they are Jews and are not. So Sophia, Christ said, and I know the lies of them which say they are Jews and are not. But what? But are the synagogue of Satan. But what? But are the synagogue of Satan. Now we all know that the people in Israel calling and claiming to be Jews, so here. But God said they're the synagogue of Satan. We're moving, we're moving on. So, okay. See that? Okay. You go, your rescuer. The rescue team. Have a Thank good you, one. Everybody. All right. Okay. All right. Bless all you. praises. Hey. Give me the book. Give me the book of Psalms. Proverbs. What? Proverbs 28 1. Huh? Proverbs 28 and verse 1. Go ahead and read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. That's what the God say. The, the wicked, wicked flee when no man pursueth. 
and Sophia was kind of curious. Her curiosity kind of got her in trouble. And she had that rescue team, which was her mom, to come rescue her after a few strips. See, when they start hearing this truth and this truth start coming out, they can't take it. Right, they right, can't right. handle it. Right? Her mom heard a few things and said, look, that's not what we teach. Right? And when we told them that their people are the synagogue of Satan, they had to go. How y'all sisters doing? Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all believe in God? Oh, yeah. You got a minute to hear word? Okay, I remember you too, yeah. sis. All right. So you've been keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments? Okay, all right. Okay, all praise. At least you're trying, though, sister. I can't you know say I'm 100%, but I do try. Right. And we just reading that, that we out here to save our people's souls. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So go ahead and read what we're talking about. It's yeah. the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 14. Bring it out! Oh, Jerusalem, wash thy heart from wickedness. Because you know that you're Jerusalem. Right? You know that you're Israel. So God said, wash your hearts from wickedness, which is sin. Go ahead. That thou mayest be saved. That she may be what? That they oh, mayest be saved. That you may be saved when the Lord cracked that sky. Okay. See what I'm saying? So that's so what we how do you wash yourself from sin? How do you wash yourself from sin? Let me look at Acts. Let me Acts 3.19. You know? I like questions. All I like praises. the fact that you go into the Bible and give it to me. You know, oh, that's saying? right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Come up with some go on Google, Wikipedia. That's right. Let me look at Psalms 32 and verse 5. Read what you got. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Get out. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So we gotta repent and be converted. The word convert means to change. Right. Repent and change. Matter of fact, in the book of Psalms 1970. Go ahead and read that from the top for me, y'all. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. That your what? That your sins, sins may be blotted out. out. So when you repent, the Lord blot our sins out. Okay, read the book of Psalms, chapter 32 and verse 5. Read what you got. Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. What did God say? The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So it's the laws of God that changes us. Because remember, repent and be converted. Repent and change. But God said it's the laws Oh, I'm sorry, I switched the joke away. God saw them right back to you. God, oh, praise <laughs> Hey, you're saying ping pong out here. Put the spirit of your house out, you know, shot. All right, so go ahead and, so he said, repent and be converted, which means to change. Repent and change. And he's telling us what changes us. So go ahead and read it again. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So it's the laws of the Lord is perfect, changing our souls. Go ahead. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making wise the simple. Making wise the simple. Right. So you got, like, for instance, church pastors, they think they're wise. But right. when they come out and get this real truth, they find out they're no, they really simple. Right. They don't know nothing. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Go ahead and read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 32, verse 5. So I acknowledge my sins unto thee. So you got to acknowledge your sins unto the Lord. Okay. So when you go home and get in that secret place, you got to acknowledge your sins unto the Lord. You're in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, and verse 6. Go ahead and read. And my iniquities have I not hid. So God, don't hide your sins from the Lord. You already know what we're doing anyway. Right. Be real with yourself and be real with him. Go ahead. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. Jump up to verse 1. Verse 1. And David of Psalms, blessed is he who transgression is forgiven. So God say, blessed is us when our sins are forgiven. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to show you how to pray. Okay. According to the Bible, we'll go ahead and read. Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret. And thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward, shall reward thee. In secret. Okay, stay right there because I'm going to read that again. All right? So he's telling us how to pray. When we pray, you know how... I, went, I grew up in church. Okay. We used to all pray together. Right. We used to pray outside, huddle up yeah. in a little line, pray. But God tell us not to do that. Okay. Everything we do must be in secret. All the way down to our fasting, to our studying, to our reading, all of this. Even prayer is supposed to be in secret, sis. Okay. Right? That's why he said go into thy closet. Okay. When he said go into a closet, that's a, a spot in your house that nobody sees you. Now, if you're the only one in your house, you can pray wherever you want in your house. Okay. But if you got kids walking around, you got family members walking around, then you got to go into a private spot where they cannot hear the words that you're saying and not even knowing that you're praying. That's okay. right. Okay, so go ahead and read again. Uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into the closet, thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, 
Pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Now he will reward us openly. You see what I'm saying? Now jump to uh, Matthew 6 and 5. Matthew 6 verse 5. Now this is what we cannot do. This is what the pastors do. So we're going to go ahead and read it. Okay. You're going to look up Matthew chapter 15 verse 14 Hebrew. Go Matthew, ahead and read it. Matthew chapter 6 verse 5. Now. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as an hypocrite. Now when we pray, we cannot be as the hypocrites are. Go ahead. Or for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets. That they may be seen of men. That they may be what? They be seen of men. men. See? Yeah. It's supposed to be everything supposed to be secret. Yeah. We cannot see. Even if we pray, sis. When we pray, if I'm just around a lot of people, right? If I'm at my job and we're on break, lunch break. When I pray, I don't close my eyes and start whispering. I pray in my head. I'm looking around, praying in my head like nobody can see me because it's a secret. You don't okay. want to be known that you're praying. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. he don't like that. And he's about to tell us. So go ahead and read it again from the top for me, y'all. Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. Uh, and when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets. They they not may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have the reward. They have what? They have the reward. So God going to reward people for doing that, for praying to him the wrong way. Right. That reward is what? The lake of fire. Okay. Not getting the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Go ahead and read it. This book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 14. Bring it out. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. Now, God is telling us, the pastors, the people that like to pray in the streets to be seen of men, right. God said, leave them alone. Why he say that, huh? They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Because they taught us one time that we can pray openly. Right. Pray for wherever you at. Yep. You see what I'm saying? But God said the blind leading the blind. Okay. And, they, and the blind, if, he said, if the blind lead the blind, he's going to lead them into a ditch. Okay. Which means they're going to stumble and fall. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's the truth that makes us free, so we must know how to go to the Lord. Right? Yep. And, and it starts with the book of Romans chapter... Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. This is where it starts from. In the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 6. I believe. Go ahead and read what you got. This book of Re Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. Now, blessed is he that read it. What did God say? Blessed is he that read it. So it starts right there. We got to read first. We got to start to read the book. Got to pick it up and open it. Go ahead. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things that which are written therein. All right, have Thank a good you. one. You have a good one. I was YouTube? just about to say, let me get one of them again. Crazy. Yeah. You go, Thank you. Uh -huh. Y'all have a blessing. Okay, you too, sister. Uh, All right, see how about she can help us out by the thumb. Uh -huh. Hey, sister, every time she comes through, she want to hear that word, man. She want to get this, this, this food, man, this spiritual healing, man. That's right. right. That's what our people need, man. That spiritual healing, man. This medicine, this food, got to get full off it. How you doing, brother? You believe in the Bible? Come here. About that. come here the word. Come here the word, brother. Come come teach me something, Mark. Come teach me something. Right? Well, people say you know all about that word. You gotta teach the young ones if you know about that word. Right. So what are you right? talking about? What point does that even matter? That right. matter. You believe in the Bible, brother? You believe in the Bible, King? Just ignore your brother's son. Alright. You like that. Hey, it ain't hurt nothing. You know everybody ain't gonna get hey, the wicked show the wicked, you man. Right? Hey, give me the book of Daniel, chapter 12 and verse 10. In the book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 10. Alright? Are people gonna ignore us? Like we need to hear. I ain't the way to be. God said not to hate your brother in our heart. Y'all brother believe in the Bible? Nah. I've heard words, man. It's your history, it's your heritage. The Muslim, bro. The Muslim, I ain't gonna get it, man. Muslim ain't gonna get it. That's serving a whole nother God, huh? Go to what you got. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 10. Many shall be purified and made white. Many shall be purified and made white. Remember, we talk about that many, many shall be called, but few shall be chosen. That's the same many that he's talking about. What do you say from the top, Hebrew? Many shall be purified and made white and tried. But the wicked shall do wicked. But the what? But the wicked shall do wicked. And the wicked people gonna still stand their sins and do wicked. You come here to work, brother. You give me God, bro. See that? All right, go ahead and read what you got. 
Revelation chapter 22, verse 10. Yeah. And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And God said, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. So when our people want to walk straight past us and don't want to acknowledge us, that's cool because that's showing that you are the wicked. So God said, Hey, when we see that, we know to let the wicked keep it moving. We're going to do, yo, yo, come hear this word. We're going to go grab them up and we'll go offer them some money. No, we're not going to do that. The, the wicked going to stay wicked. We got to understand that. Go ahead and read. Right. Back, I mean, Revelation chapter 22, verse 10. No. And he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book. For the time is at hand. Verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And that's how brothers come into this truth, men and whole and all. We got to continue to stay righteous. We got to continue to pray, read, fast, grow in the spirit, man. Bring forth fruit, right? That's right. That's, what, that's our job, man. Make sure we're not forgetting about God's ministry, right? Too many brothers like to forget uh, about the ministry, man, uh, right? God ministry is everything in his eyes, so don't you think you ought to be make sure you take a part in that thing? Yeah, we all get busy. We all got jobs, but it's still not an excuse to, to come out and do the work for the Lord and to help build his ministry, uh, right? Go ahead and read. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. He that is holy. Let him be holy still. He that is set apart, let him stay being set apart. We are set apart people. We got to stay that way. You know the book of Luke? I mean, Leviticus, stop it. Leviticus 20 and verse 26. He let us set apart by holiness, man. Right? What do you got? This book of Leviticus chapter 20, verse 26. Now, and he shall be holy unto me, for I, the Lord, am holy, and have served you for other people. He has severed us. From other people. He cut us from other people. We're not the same. We're not equal, right? We are above all nations. We're royal kings, royal priests. That's right. right? right. Royal princesses, man. Go ahead and read. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, the Lord, am holy, and have severed you from other people, that ye should be mine. That he should be what? That ye shall, shall be, be mine. mine. Hey, that we should be his, man. We are the Lord's. How you doing, sister? Good. You believe in the Bible? Yes. Have you ever heard that you're an Israelite? Okay. Have you ever been to church? Yes. Have you ever grown up in church? Yeah, but I didn't take it really serious. Okay. Well, all praises. The reason why I say this is because church is really deceiving our people. I know. Manipulating because, our people. Because all they told me was come to church and we'll go care for you afterwards. So there you go. Oh, see I that? I learned nothing, see? but I went to church. Hey, they kind of proud. Hey, church of proud The only people. thing I kept doing was kneeling, stand, kneeling, stand. Yeah, you got tired of that, huh? Yeah, all praise. So that's what I went to. So they, they say, look, 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 you come to church, hey, you have to church, we get ice cream. You exercise, all right. Kneel, stand, kneel, yeah. stand. So, church is not truly of God. And I ain't talking about all churches, because some churches, the very small few, is truly of God. But the majority is not about God because they're not keeping the law such as many. Now, just like you said, when you go to church afterwards, they buy, you go to get ice cream, right? But meanwhile, we're not allowed to buy on the Sabbath day. Did you know that? No. Nehemiah 1031. Yeah, and I new Sabbath day is Saturday, not Sunday. All praises. That's right. That's sister. right. That's yeah. right. He's just going to enlighten you with this, so go ahead and read. This is the book in Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. Verse no. And if the people of the land beware of any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So we're not allowed to buy or sell on God's Sabbath day. So right after church, they take every time, every time after church, they take the congregation to get ice cream. See that? They profane in the Lord's day. If he said we're not allowed to buy or sell, why are they buying you see that? Yeah. This is the truth, sir. So we're going to touch on the Sabbath day. Give you some edification on the Lord's day. Because you know that today is the Sabbath day. All praise to the Most High. So let's see what God tells us about the Sabbath day. So go ahead and read. Exodus chapter 20 verse Exodus 8. 35. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So God tells us to remember the Sabbath day. 
a lot of our people have forgotten about the Sabbath day. That's why they go to church on Sunday, right? But God said, remember the Sabbath day. Go ahead. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. Six days shall we labor and do all our work. Go ahead. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. But the seventh day, the seventh day is the Sabbath day of the Lord our God. Go ahead. And it, thou shalt not do any work. And in the Sabbath day, we're not allowed to do any work. Right? We're not allowed to do any work in the Sabbath day. All right? And let's find out some more things that we got to do on the Sabbath. Because man, now we cannot buy or sell on the Sabbath day. Neither can we work. Because yeah. it's a day of rest. Yeah. Right? Go ahead and read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 35, verse 3. Yeah. Yeah. You shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. What did God tell us? He shall kindle no, no fire, fire throughout, throughout your habitations, habitations upon the Sabbath, Sabbath day. So we cannot kindle no fire means we can't cook. On the Sabbath day. You don't want us cooking on the Sabbath day. Did you know that? No. See that? I didn't know that. But then God tell us, remember his Sabbath day? Yeah. He tells us why. Yeah. Because we're not allowed to buy or sell on the Sabbath day. Or any labor. Not to work. We need no labor. <laughs> and now we find out that we can't even cook on the yeah. Sabbath day. No using the microwave. Right? Because that's heating up food. Yeah. Okay? No air fryer. See that? We can't use none of these. We got to prepare before the Sabbath day. Give me the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 13. Give the book of Mark, chapter 15, verse 24, Hebrew. Okay? So let's see what it what tell us what to do about the Sabbath day. If we can't cook on the Sabbath day, then how do we go about that thing? Let's go ahead and read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 13. Yeah. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasures on thy holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thy own way. Not doing what? Not doing thy not own way. way. Not doing our own way. We're not allowed to just go out and do our own thing on the Sabbath day. We can do whatever we want, but we just can't buy ourselves, we can't work, but we cannot kindle no fire. Okay? Go ahead and read what you got. Mark chapter 15, verse 24. And when thy head crucified him, they parted his garments. Mark 15, 42. 15, 42. Slocker. Verse 42. And now when even was come. Now when evening was come. Go ahead. Because it was the preparation. It was the preparation. The day to prep before what? That is the day before the Sabbath. A day before the Sabbath. We got to prep. We got to make cold sandwiches. Make sure you got all your items together for your salad. So which means we got to go to the store. Friday before sundown to get all the stuff that we need to prep. We didn't get for the top. Take two for me, y'all. Matthew chapter 15, verse 42. And now when even, when the even was come, because it was the preparation that this is the day before the Sabbath. Joseph. That's it on that. So it's the day before the Sabbath that we must prep before the Sabbath. So now you know to keep the Sabbath day holy. You see that? Do I know no work, no buying or selling? And we also cannot cook on the Lord's Sabbath day. But we got to prepare before the Sabbath. We need to go get the foods, the cold food that we need before the Sabbath. So when the Sabbath get here, we know how to go about it. Okay, that's how we truly keep the Lord's Sabbath day. All right, you got any questions? Yes. Okay. About that or about anything? Anything. In any questions okay, that you Christmas, have? Christmas, Easter, Halloween. Hall Hall Holidays? Yes. All those. Tell me about those. Okay. Well, God told us yeah. to partake in it. Right. In the book of yes. Judges, chapter 5, verse 11. All right. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, and verse 1. Okay. Uh, let me get Jeremiah first. Matter of fact. Okay, 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 okay. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10. In verse 1, yeah. hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. So God tell him, learn not the ways of the heathen. Now Christmas, 4th of July, Easter, all these holidays is the customs of the heathens. Right? We're not to celebrate these things. But go ahead and read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. 
for the heathen are dismayed at them. Don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, all these planets, story systems, that's not out there. It's all lies. It's all vanity. So he said, don't be, get caught up in that. Go ahead. For the customs of the people are vain. What did he say? For the customs of the people are vain. Halloween, right? Christmas, Easter, these are customs, but God said they are vain. Go ahead. For what cut it a tree? Out of the forest. Now he's getting specific with one of these holidays. The, he said once, cut up a tree out of the forest. Go ahead. The work of the hands of the workmen with an axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. So they take this tree, they bring it into their house, they decorate it with silver and gold. They, they fashion it with nails and with hammers that it will not. They, they, they tighten it down so it will not fall over. What holiday is that? Christmas. Right. That's right. God is telling us, so tribes of Israel, not to celebrate the heathen customs. That's the custom of theirs. God got his own high holy days. Go ahead and read. Oh. This is the book of Judges, chapter 5, verse 11. Oh. They that were delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of the drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Now, in this captivity, which we are in, we rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, meaning keeping God's our holy days. You ever hear about the Day of Atonement? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the Feast of Pentecost. Yeah. Feast of First Fruit. Yeah. Feast of Dedication. Yeah. Feast of Tabernacles. Yeah. The Passover. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I can keep yeah. going. I would love to keep going, but you get the point. Yeah. We got to celebrate these because these is in the Bible. These are God's high holy days. Oh, you see yeah. what I'm saying? So we got to celebrate, don't celebrate holidays, but celebrate God's high holy days. Right. That's, That's right. what we got to come back to. Give me that in the book, yeah. of, me that in the book of Exodus chapter 12 and verse 14. All right. Let's see what else we got to tell us to do about this thing, man. Because we're not to celebrate man-made customs. Go ahead and read it. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verse 14. Bring it out. And this day shall be unto you a memorial, and ye shall keep a feast to the Lord throughout your generation. Ye shall keep it, it a feast by an ordinance forever. So we said we got his own feast days that we got to keep his feast as ordinances forever. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's get one for, for the system. Let's get one for Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 17. Leviticus 26, verse 17. We're going to get a few for you, sis. Matter of fact, okay. we gonna, give me Colossians 2 and 8. Colossians 2, verse 8. Go ahead and read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 17. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be... Oh, Matthew, sloppy. Matthew 26, verse 17. Go ahead and read up. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 17. Now the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying unto them, Where wilt thou be we prepared for thee to eat the Passover? Now, this is the unleavened bread. We celebrate that. And we also keep the Passover. Why? Because it's documented here. We're right. reading an account. So go ahead and read. And he said, Go into the city to such a man, and say unto him, The master said, my time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. We shall do what? I will keep, keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. See that, sis? You keep the Passover. You got to start keeping the Passover yourself. Oh, I see a lot of his families. They're broken. Right. They're so broken. I see children out here running in the middle of the night. I mean, I can be out here. Sure. I'm seeing, you know, I see a lot of broken families. They need to come together. They, they need that. Absolutely. The parents oh. should be responsible Absolutely. to make their children go to church, learn this stuff. They need to know because they they're living in a la la land where mama is doing whatever, daddy's doing whatever. Right. Daddy needs to come back and be the That's man right. of the house. That's right. He needs to come back and be the man of the house and tell the lady, you know, hey. We gotta put these children. We need to combine as a family. That's right. All we don't even have those grandmas no more. Uh -uh. Grandmas are like what, 30, 40 years old now. Right, right, right. Yep. But they're still out there. Oh, they're yeah, they party. Grandma party, 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 party in the club, right? You know, so that's not right. what needs to be happening. Now those grandmas need to be the grandmas that put the lashings on on the on the younger children like they do. That's right. Because I know I. 
I still, my dad, uh, military, I still couldn't get away with stuff like that. Right. Even as old as I was. He mm -hmm. knocked me out. See that? That's what you know what I mean? He put the belt to me, my dad was. That's so, right. you know, as long as I have my dad still alive, mm -hmm. oh, but yeah. he was my best friend, but he knew when to put the lashing on when I needed him. That's right. And it wasn't going to stop. Right. That's what we got here to do. But see, this is the thing. It's all out of whack today, sis, because it's the last generation. Right. And Christ warned us of these things. So how about we go ahead and read it so we can get some understanding. So go ahead and read it. Uh, it's the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12. Now, and because iniquity shall abound. What did he say? And because now, iniquity, iniquity shall abound, abound. And because sin shall abound. And love of many shall wax cold. The love of many shall wax cold. Why? Because we are at the end. This is the last generation, sis. See that? So iniquity, why is it's, sin is at its highest? Yes. Right now. So I want to go back to these customs and these holidays. Okay? We're going to touch on this thing. Give me the book of Amos, chapter 5 and verse 21. Go ahead and read what you got. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you. Through philosophy and vain deceit. So the Lord told us to beware. Let no man spoil us through philosophy and vain deceit. Many lies. Go ahead. After the tradition of men. After the traditions is going into customs of men. You see what I'm saying? Now let's see what God, how he feels about these holidays. So go ahead and read. This is the book of Amos chapter 5 verse 21. Oh, yeah. I hate I despise your feast days. What did God say? I hate. I despise your feast days. So he said he hate and despise his holidays. Go ahead and read. I will not smell in your solemn assembly. He would not smell in the solemn assembly. You know how you cook and you got that good aroma? God said he would not smell in your solemn assembly. Why? Because this pig getting cooked up in there. The foul food getting cooked. Our people cooking anything in these holidays. That's why he tells us not to celebrate them. Stay away from them. We begin from the top three feet from me, y'all. I hate, I despise your feast days. I will not smell in your solemn assembly. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. You will what? I will not accept them. You will not accept them. Go ahead and read what you got. Mark, chapter 7, verse 6. He answered and said unto them, Go ahead, Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites. After Elijah prophesied of you hypocrites, go ahead. As it was written, this people honored, honored me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Six, uh, seven, six. Uh, yeah. What's that? Go ahead. But their heart is far from me. How be it? In vain do they worship me. In vain do the children of Israel worship the Lord. Go ahead. Teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. Go ahead. For, for, laying, for laying aside the commandments of God. Laying aside the commandments of God. Go ahead. Behold the tradition of men. We do what? Behold the tradition of men. We do what? Behold the tradition of men. We lay aside God's our holy days and pick up the traditions of men. You see that? So no, we are not allowed to celebrate these pagan holidays or pagan customs. We got to come out well, of Well, it's because money talks to them. That's all it's about. Right. You, you, I, I mean, you gotta advent to circus in order to balance it down. That's right, sis. You know, I'm saying some of them, because there's some churches I've been to. I was like, what? And the pastor like, yeah, God did this, and God did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for coming, you you prostitutes, and you uh, oh, right. drug dealers, and you uh, prisoners, and I was like, what? That's Brother, nice. you're you're like putting those people down, and I mean, you looking at all the people that in your church. Yeah. Then I went to another church. This man was called one church, and they said, "All you demons and witchcraft, uh, you witch ladies, you demon ladies and men, please get up and leave right now." I was like, "What? Man, what are you talking about?" Uh, and then he goes, "Okay, you're gonna." Uh, you're going to take all, what do they call that when you, oh, take all your sins away? Baptism? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it, the, the Holy uh, Ghost? No. He goes, you're going to uh, do all eight years old. You're going to do 10, 11, 12, 
all the way up to 90 years old, you were going to take everybody in that room that was that age, you take their sins away. I can't remember how they call, call that. Repentance. Yeah, that you were going to do the eight-year-olds, all of eight-year-olds. You were going to do all the ten. I was like, he can't do mine. Christianity. You know yeah. what I'm about Christianity? No. Christianity. But that was that one that I called one church. And okay. they were the one that did. I was like, what? Well, you ain't doing mine. I can do myself. Okay, so it's not actually you're not gonna, I, I, You're not going to drag me to hell with you. Right. Sorry. All praises. Now, on your father's side, your yeah. dad's side, what race is his nationality? What race is He's your father? He's Italian and black. Okay. He's from Sicily, Italy. Okay, is he Caucasian? He's a, he, he mixed. Yeah. Did you know his grandfather? He's Sicily. So his his grand Italian. So your dad, dad. He's from over there. It's white. Right. He got yeah. Okay, so the, your dad, so your your father is mixed, but yeah. his father is Caucasian. No, his father is black too, but it's uh, his mom is. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, hey, we, hey, we, we try to yeah. So that's why he. Just, that's why all this. You know, my skin color comes from his dad down to his children. Okay. So, but it gets a little bit lighter to my skin. Okay. Now this is what I'm gonna do, sis. I'm gonna show you some laws, statutes, and commandments that's in the Bible that you must obey. Okay.